614 this morning and since 2011, employees at one city of Austin department have complained about a manager who they say grabbed and touched them inappropriately. And now those allegations are being made public thanks to the work of our partners over at the Austin Monitor. Mike Kanan is here to talk to us about this story and a little bit of breaking news that happened not too long ago. Good morning to you. Morning. How are you? Let's start. Good. Let's good. start with um, a, a resignation yes. that you just heard about. Yeah, the gentleman you were just describing uh, resigned, I believe it was yesterday. Either way, he's he's out. Uh, the guy, his name is, uh, I believe it's Steve Ritchie. He's, mm -hmm. uh, I think, the third highest ranking employee in that department. Give us some background, Mike, uh, of how this all started, why you started to dig, and then what you found. Well, you know, we'd started hearing some whispers about some issues, and then sort of a couple of weeks ago, there was a, a, just a, a random sort of memo from the manager's office, I believe it was, that announced that uh, the head of the department, Betsy Spencer, had resigned. So we started digging a little more furiously and found uh, this story about, uh, since, li like you said, described at the open, 20, uh, since 2011, there have been complaints, a series of complaints from multiple parties, uh, allegations of sexual harassment on the part of this guy. And, uh, and I think what may have exacerbated the situation, probably did exacerbate the situation, is that the head of the department at the time, Betsy Spencer, mm -hmm. um, who was instructed by Assistant City Manager Bert Lambrus to discipline him, uh, didn't actually follow through with the discipline and, and sort of covered that up and, um, and lied to, uh, allegedly lied to, uh, to city management about it. And which department are we talking about here? It's the Neighborhood Housing and Community Development Department. Folks will know them as, as the folks that uh, manage the city's affordable housing programs. Okay, and so this person has since resigned, uh, mm -hmm. and, and we'll try to hopefully find out some more about the response to, to why they decided to do that. Yeah, we should note that, th that he denies all the allegations okay. um, and that uh, I, there are a couple of other pending investigations going on. We're sort of anxiously awaiting those results. Um, this may be indi this may indicate a, a larger issue with the city. Right. Uh, Mayor Pro, Pro Tem Tobo has been working on some, some procedural changes that would make sexual harassment reporting a little bit more, more easy. Um, and, uh, and in fact, when, when she sort of presented uh, those, those changes and, and got them before council, um, there was a parade of employees that got up and said that they had had issues, not just about sexual harassment, but with retaliation from management, uh, not management as a larger, sort of the larger apparatus, sure. um, uh, when they tried to report issues. Um, it seems like this could be, could be a, a, an issue for the city. Well, it's when I was reading the story and I said 2011, Yeah was a long time ago to yeah. come to where we are today in 2016 so it brings up a, a question of should something have been done way earlier than waiting all this time it's an excellent question and we're certainly trying to figure that out all right mike cannon with the austin monitor thank you so much for being here good work on that thank you breaking that story